What's up guys? Welcome to your 60 or 78th tutorial. Let me check if that's right. 77th tutorial for the new Boston. Um, so basically what we're going to do in this tutorial is something really simple. Um, basically, uh, it's real quick, real easy. Uh, last thing we're going to do for this graphics surface class, I know I told you guys we were done with that, but uh, since I'm going to relate release this app on the market for you guys to download some of you guys might already have downloaded it if you are living in the future because then it would already be on the marketplace and you know this video would be made in your past I don't know what I'm talking about it's too late but basically we want to be conscious of slower devices that you know will download our app from the marketplace so how we can kind of um, kind of utilize our our thread and make it you know use less processing speed so slower devices can run at kind of the same rate as higher devices we want to set up kind of a frames per second um, atmosphere when we work with animation or, or game development um, because as of now within this on touch method is basically the only thing that's kind of going as fast as it can because we have this return true here it's just cycling through and updating and updating and like sweating and we're like hey man you want some water he's like no I gotta do this I gotta do this man get out of my way and uh, you know using all the processing speed it can we we kinda wanna be like hey man just sleep for a little bit yeah you're like sleep we already know how to do that yeah I mean it's a pretty co simple concept but uh, when working with game development, it comes in very beneficial to have a set frame rate that you work with. And kind of the concept, or kind of how to create a frame rate, is uh, just uh, doing some simple calculation. For example, if we want to have a frame rate of about 60 frames per second, uh, all we have to do is take 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second, divided by our frame rate that we want to achieve, so 60. And that equal, you know, 16.6666666667 um, frames, or I mean, that's the sleep time that we want to have. Um, but we're going to be even more generous and just say uh, sleep or thread dot sleep, and then we're going to say like 50 instead of 16 point or 16 or 17, something like that. Um, so this will give us a frame rate of 20 frames per second for the most part. And all we have to do now is again surround it with a try and catch. So just hover over and say surround with try and catch and it sets it up for us very nicely. Um, again this is within our on touch method. And that's going to allow again our application just to sleep every once in a while. You know not use all the processing speed that it needs. And it's not really going to affect you know the way our application runs. For the most part, it's just going to save some of that processing speed. Um, I know this tutorial is pretty much pointless, but you know the frames per second is an important concept for you game developers that that you want to uh, consider in the future. But as you can see, it doesn't really affect how our application runs. Uh, for the most part, it actually makes it run faster um, because we have more processing speed and it doesn't really affect the performance so uh, hopefully I don't know these tutorial or this tutorial is just pathetic I'm sorry guys but again frame rates or frames per second is an important concept I'm just gonna leave it with that because I need to go to bed and uh, we're gonna get into an awesome topic on uh, the next tutorial so awesome in fact I don't even know what it's gonna be about yet so uh, look forward to seeing you guys then and have a good one. Peace.